What is up, YouTube? AJ here. We're playing a little bit of uh, Wrath of the Lich King Classic. And we'll see how we do. It is 12.20 a.m. Saturday night into Sunday morning. And it was a long day for me, so... <laughs> I'm kind of tired. But I feel like playing, so I'm going to play. still three levels until we get I mean I don't even know when stuff becomes good 30% of all damage taken by party members is redirected to you oh boy none of it like none of it's like amazing doesn't uh, until you get to Avenger shield I guess Reckoning? I don't know if Reckoning is any good anymore. I know it used to be. So it's early to mid-November, and as I've stated a couple of times, I live in the uh, Midwest now. I'm originally from the East Coast. <clears throat> I've been living in the Midwest for about, what, 15 years now? So a, a huge chunk of my life. Um, and, and I'm still not used to it. I'm really still not used to it. And one of the things is, is just kind of the driving habits. And I think it's like a national. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a national, like, joke about um, Jersey drivers. Oh, he's a Jersey driver. I, I, would, I would prefer Jersey driving to what I deal with here. And there are three topics of discussion I guess there would be for this. One I think I'll skip. I think I'm going to skip one of the topics. And I think I've already talked about the, the second topic, which is... We have, we live in a small town, so we have, like, my town, I think it's of 9,000, I think it said it was 9,000, it doesn't, that doesn't sound right, but I think the population's 9,000, so I'll just say it. Um, in the main town which I'm part of, the speed limit is 25. And the problem with that, I don't have a problem with the speed limit being 25. I have a problem with people, I don't know what it is when they see that the speed limit's 25, they feel like they have to even go slower. So I am just constantly behind people who are doing between 20 and 25 in the 25 mile an hour zone. 
And I kind of want to, like, when somebody's doing 20, I kind of want to, like, give them that, like, pit maneuver that the cops give, like, cars to, like, spin them out and stop them. I kind of want to do that when somebody's doing 20. And just ask them one question. If this was the highway, and the highway said 65, are you doing, you know, 60? Oh, no, I'm doing 75, 80. Well, then why are you doing... Why are you doing... Pizza? I mean, like, I've been, been behind people. And they hop on the highway. And they go from doing 20 in a 25 to doing, like, 80 in a, in a 55. They got no problem with that. I have no idea what the, the mentality of that is. If, if I'm alone on the road, I'm, I'm here, here I am on YouTube admitting to uh, breaking the law... Um, if, if I'm, if I'm like, nobody's around me, uh, and I'm not even looking for cops, I don't even care at this point, uh, and it's a 25 mile an hour, I'm doing, I'm doing like 32 at least, 32, I'm not doing maybe, I'm not, maybe I'm not doing 10 miles an hour, but I'm doing 8 miles over, and you know what, it makes a big difference, to me it makes a big difference, like I feel like you could fall asleep. If you're doing 20 miles an hour, I feel like you, there is a there's a good chance you may fall asleep behind the wheel. So I'm doing 32 to save lives. That's how I look at it. The other thing, and this one is just insane. So I'm in the Midwest. I'm in a state that gets you know a fair amount of snow. Definitely a fair amount of snow. The first part of the gripe becomes the... What the hell was that? Did you hear that? Is there like a... Is this tree aggroing me? I'm sorry, great tree. Did not mean to offend you. It wasn't just me. People heard that the tree growled at me, right? Um, so the, the, the state that I live in, and, and it's not, maybe it's not the state, um, because there are cities in this state that do a really good job, but the areas that I've lived in do a piss poor job at snow, re snow removal, like just, it's just terrible. People are like... AJ, why do you hate driving the snow so much? It's, I, I never did back when I was back east because you know what they did? They, they paid people to go plow the roads. Here, they don't plow the roads. They'll treat the roads. Oh, we treated the roads, guys. Don't worry. So we don't have to, we don't have to plow them. And then they like, well, they'll refuse to plow them again. Like, they look at the weather channel and they're like, it's gonna be 42 degrees on, you know, in three days, so let's not, let's just do nothing to the roads. That's, that's like maddening to me. And I guess it's not the state. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out the city instead of the state because, uh, on my way home from work back like, you know, seven years ago. It was snowing pretty hard, and the roads were fine coming home from work, the, the city that my work was in. And then, on my way home, there was just this line in the road. You could see it was just a line in the road. And it must have been like the city limits, because it went from the roads being perfectly clear to the roads being, like, packed with like three inches of snow that was just packed. So when you pack snow, it's gonna be even more slicker. So, it, oh God. That, it just infuriates me. But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is this, it's the drivers. This, this, this place, this weird ass place that I live in in the Midwest, they, are incredibly, incredibly, like, out of, like, 
it, it, it's almost out of a movie. They're incredibly fearful of Drizzle. And I'm not like, it's, it's, this is not like hyperbole here. If it's drizzling, meaning like, you could be wearing a t-shirt and be like, oh, my t-shirt's getting a slightly damp. It's drizzling out. It could be like that. And these people will drive 10 miles below the speed limit. It's, oh my gosh, it's drizzling. It's a 55. We, we, we better, we're better off doing 37 because... He, who knows? Who knows what could happen in this drizzly weather? Now, if they were... If it was, like, across the board like this, you'd just be like, okay, it's... They're, they're cautious drivers, I'll deal with it. But it's not across the board. If it's drizzling, they act like... They act like the floor is lava. Like, oh my god, you know, like, like they just have this ultra uber cautiousness. Now, if it's a blizzard, it's totally different. If it's a blizzard, if it's like, if there's a layer of ice, like, the news could tell you, hey, there's probably a good, you know, quarter of an inch of ice under the, the four inches of snow that's packed on the ground right now. If you're driving, you know, like, we'd, we'd recommend you not drive, but if you are, be careful. That, for some reason, these same drivers, these same people that see Drizzle hit their windshield and freak the fuck out, these same drivers, they decide that it, that's the time to do 10 to 15 miles over the speed limit. woman in a minivan with her three kids in the in the back in a 35 mile an hour zone she's just doing like 55 she's f this blizzard ice on the street it's cool don't worry we got this kids we'll get you to chuck e cheese don't worry same woman oh, it's drizzling out kids i don't know if we chuck e cheese is about two miles away we're not gonna make it it's drizzling. It's just nuts. It's not. I, I wish. Like, I want to sit down. And maybe this is my... Maybe, uh, like... I went on, like... I went off last night about, you know, like... Why people do things they do for money. Like, the, the woman that... Like, the woman that, uh... I guess, you know, sitting on a toilet... On a commercial. Maybe my calling is just to start interviewing people that just are like that baffle me. Like I need I need to interview these people to figure out their train of thought. There's gotta be reasons for what they do. And I wanna know them. So maybe I do that pit maneuver. And like like maybe so what happens is I find the person that's doing, you know, 15 miles below the speed limit when it comes to drizzle. Light drizzle. So I, then I, I give them the pit maneuver, I, I spin their car out, and I tag their car too. Kind of like uh, a deer in the wild that you want to track. I'm going to tag their car, just so that I can watch them come winter season, and the first... Like, oh, there's ice on the ground and five inches of snow packed on the roads, and I'm gonna I'm gonna see them doing like 75 in the in the 25. I know I am. And then I want to interview them. Hey, what are you thinking here? What do you think Drizzle is gonna do to you? Why are you so afraid of Drizzle? <laughs> Like I need to know. It, it's it's now a, like it's it's a need to know kind of deal. All right, we got two. That's fine.
don't do it, don't do it. Oh, you son of a... You son of a beaver. First shoulder pieces, where are they? Upgrade. They don't give a percentage because they're just flat upgrade. Where the F did he come from? Does he just spawn? Yeah. Oh, geez. Peace out. Click. I thought I clicked. Oh, purifying. Yes, maybe that's my calling. Maybe I shall be an investigative journalist on oddities and stupidities. do I have to go? There's the grain. Oh, there's another camp, isn't there? Okay, the last one's back here. Okay, let's book it out of here. I guess they didn't care about their nuts. They cared about their what? Grain, but not their nuts. They have their priorities all mixed up.
after you get there. What is nice about not playing on a private server is I know that a couple of them had this event, the Furbog event, uh, over here, like, just butchered. Like, it either didn't work, or it if somebody did it, like, if somebody did it on, a, like, a Tuesday and the server didn't re restart until, like, Friday, like, it just would... Like, nothing would. Like, nobody else could do it. Oh, jeez. Are you kidding me? Why is that thing still... There's no way that thing is still health, full health. Okay, I'm boogieing. Screw you guys. You guys are cheating somehow. Somehow you are cheating. Like, that one should have been at, like, 50%. sure even why they aggroed. Like, it's the same thing that happened before, when I died. Like, the guy appeared. Like, I hit this storage thing. He appeared, but it, it acted as if he ran from here down to here, and then it aggroed everybody in between. So, I don't mind if you're consistent, game. Like... Okay, he, I could see him running from here and he's aggroing everybody, you know, on his way. But that's definitely not what happened. Alright, now I'm just gonna fuck you up. Sorry for the language. I don't think I've seen that animation. What is that, bread? Then why is she, like, shoving it? Wow, she's just, like... 
Is there something in the middle of that bread that she's trying to get her tongue to get? I don't know. This is kid friendly, so. Don't ask, don't tell. Now that they're all friendly, we should murder them. No? Too much. <laughs> I actually think we get, uh, wait a minute, didn't I just see, okay, I think we get a good reward for that one. That's a pretty good upgrade. Okay, we'll go back for that other quest at some point. But let's go ahead and uh, get that buzz box one done. And I used the wrong food. I wanted to use that food that we have that has the health and the mana. Okay, well, we might as well get the beached. Sea turtle over here as well. Killing all those uh, rabid thistle bears, I think they don't give you those, uh, what was it, rabies? Maybe people with rabies in real life got angry at Blizzard or something. I remember there was like a, it was like a nasty like 10 minute, what, debuff that was um, minus 5 stam and minus 5 strength or some shit. You know, we killed about 15 of those bears and...
I don't think we need that. kind of crushing <clears throat> we're kind of crushing dark shore our level doesn't show it but we haven't had too many uh, problems with any of these quests I mean we can go back to Westfall and do a bunch of other stuff how did I miss copper vein And I, I'm kind of taking my time with this. This is not a rushed let's play. And I'm not saying that I won't do that. I think bo for both of the games that I'm playing right now, WoW and Final Fantasy XI, I think at one point I wouldn't mind... Um, Kind of saying F you to, oh, let me do some gathering, you know, let me do some crafting. Uh, the next buzz box is number 323 ish north of Aberdeen, but where's the ale? What? Oh, ish on the road, show you. Okay, I can't do these quests. I can't read these. This one needs Moonstalker fangs, six of them. Did I not take that? Okay. Um, I'm kind of doing like, and it's not that I'm like, it's not that I'm kind of doing it on purpose that they're slow, uh, let's plays, just that I haven't, I haven't really played anything in such a long time, I really haven't. Scene. They just tell you to take the sea creature bones to that crazy lady that loves the bone. It reminds me of that terrible song from the 90s. No idea what it's called. Um, I bet if I thought about it for like, I bet I'll like, what is it, 1 a.m. right now? I bet at like 1.45, like I either wake up or like I'm just sitting in the chair and I'm like, oh my god, that's the name of the song. Um, but I think the hook is the chorus, the end of the chorus is she don't like meat, but she sure like the bone. So I think that's what that, uh, jeez, do I have to get that? I think I have to get that. I think the song is about a vegetarian girl that, uh, enjoys other things. Now, a lot of people that I watch on YouTube, a lot of the Let's Players, they have auto-loot set up, and I don't, I personally 
just really don't like auto loot. I like to see what I'm getting. Like, and I, I, I think sometimes auto loot, like, hits you so fast that you click auto loot and it just, like, all just dumps in your bag. But I like to kind of see what it's giving me. And then there's times when you're, like, when you're looting and you look at something, you're like, okay, that's worth five copper. I don't need it. I'm not going to... I'm not going to pick it up, much to the chagrin of... Um... Skinners everywhere. They're like, oh, you mother... You're that guy that doesn't pick up everything. Watch, get her back. What? I, again, this guy is telling me to watch my back. I don't like it. What brings you here? Okay. Gus, Str Gus Storm Guard. Oh, leg guards. How good do they look? Oh my god, look at those. Amazing looking. Ishnu Allah. Be careful. Never mind. I need to see my buddy with the fish if I want to sell anything. the question becomes three quests to turn in can we get 3,000 exactly XP I don't think so be with you. oh definitely not look at that may the stars guide you. definitely not would have been awesome. Final task for you, but be warned you'll have to kill again. Okay, yeah, I have to kill a bunch of mothers. Next or just one mother, sorry. Wonderful. Alright. What is that? Merc Deep. Well, we got a little bit of time. Let's go do it. And so I think my new... My new goal... Because they're they're terrible. They're either stock, they're either stock photos or they're um, either either stock photos or they're one of three things: stock photos, 
um, screenshots that I take or just kind of YouTube recommended action shots for my thumbnails. So my new kind of project for myself is and we're gonna find a free software so we're not we're gonna try not to put very much money into <laughs> into my let's plays because they're getting some views and, and I'm, I'm very appreciative of it but this is not like I'm definitely not making any money off of these maybe one day I will but um, but I'd like to clean them up Get the old standard. We'll do a variation. We'll definitely want to do a variation. I, I don't want to be like carbon copy of a Let's Play. But we'll do a variation of just like kind of the big letters. What episode number it is and all that shit. But I already have so many damn videos that if I want to do a backlog, it's going to take me a long time. It'll take me an afternoon. But yeah, I'd like to... I would like to get the thumbnails under control. Then after that, look into editing software. I mean, I think I may be the only Let's Player that I've seen that you could see as OBS. Like, oh, he's turning his OBS off but he, as he says goodbye. So I think that's a little bit unprofessional. We'll work on that. But I kind of wanted to get just like, it, it's like I was telling my girlfriend, you know, like I'm not expecting a whole lot. Um, I know that if I put my mind and like all of my energy into it, I bet I could do a real good job. But if you've heard any of my other videos, y you would realize I have a full-time job where I work between like... 45 and 60 hours a week. It's, it, there's not a lot of time to do this shit. This is like my wind down time. I was going to be playing... I guess the way to think about it, and, and, and I've said it a million times already. Um, there is a very good chance that I would have been playing right now something. Probably, probably WoW. Um... 1 a.m. on a Saturday night, Monday, uh, Sunday morning. There's a good chance that I would be talking to myself as I did it. I talk to myself a lot. <laughs> um, kind of half joking, kind of not joking at all. Um... The way I look at it is, especially with like my job. My job is so. It's not. It's not super. Like niche. Like oh, nobody would understand it. But very, not a huge portion of the population would understand it. Um, it's one of the reasons why I think that. Like the. Like my. What I do for a living, they go out to drink together after work a lot. Because a lot of times it's 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. And the reason they go out to drink together a lot, like to bars after work, is because nobody else... If I were to sit down and tell somebody that wasn't in my industry what was bothering me, like, hey, this is what happened to me today... Like, there's just no way they would understand it. There's just no way they'd understand Like, they'd be like, what are you talking about? Be and to the point of basically, okay, you don't understand that. But if you're a garbage man, let's say you're a garbage man, and I'm not picking on garbage man, I actually was a garbage man. 
there's there's a very there's a story that y'all probably never tell online. This is not good about me being a garbage man. Pretty funny, but not good. Um. <clears throat> But if the garbage man told me, like, hey, I was went to grab this garbage can today, this morning, and the asshole had it packed with old bowling balls, so when I went to grab it, I didn't expect it to be, you know, like 300 pounds, and it was, and I pulled my back. That's a bad day, and that's something that I think everybody could understand. Like, holy shit, that would, <laughs> that would suck. Um... My bad day is, you know, like, having arguments with lawyers about, you know, a state-specific item. And it's just... Oh, God. It's just so hard. Like, not even my... Like, whenever I try to talk to my girlfriend, I try to dumb it down as much as I can. And she understands a lot of it, but it, she just doesn't care. That's another thing. It's like... None of the things that I bitch about are, like, life-altering for anybody. But it's just, it just angers you so much that you want to talk about it. But nobody cares. Other than people that you would work with. That's why a lot of people that do what I do go out and drink together. Because they could just let their hair down and bitch about something for about 40 minutes while people listen and are just either laughing at them or mortified for them. But at least you got somebody to listen to that understands what you're talking about because what I do for a living, you just don't... It's not... There's no, like, layman terms for anything. And that's another thing that I wanted to kind of bring up. It was in my mind after a couple of my... A couple of my videos last night. And it's not like anybody's like really listening hardcore to these. It's just me playing WoW and rambling on. <clears throat> but I, I, I was making fun of like some sponsorships and uh, people, you know, maybe doing commercials or music or whatever that they don't like that they might not like just for money and uh, doing sponsorships that are below them just for money human mage there you go dear nothing in return you beaver um and then I thought to myself um, today, you know, like about 20 hours after releasing those videos, um, I don't love what I do for a living. Like, I really don't. I, there, there, there are many, many times where I actually hate what I do, and there are many times that I'm not proud of what I do, because what I do is... <sighs> It's very common. Every just about everybody in America does like benefits from what I do. But it's very scummy. <laughs> to put it to put it that way. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, you know, like I'm kind of like poking fun at people for selling fake weed. Um <clears throat> selling fake weed or sponsoring fake weed on their YouTube channel, but they have a YouTube channel that they are making a living on, and they probably enjoy that a hell of a lot more than I enjoy my job, so, you know, like, jokes on me, I'm, I'm the person that's, you know, like, that hates their, you know, the, the alarm dings in the morning, and I'm not like, okay, I get to go live stream, and no, I, I am on the... The alarm rings in the morning and I get to eat shit, basically, for 10-12 hours a day. Alright, so what do we got? Anticipation. Look at that. 
There's nothing more fun than dodge. I mean, when you think about a, like, a talent point, dodge. It's number one. Makes my nipples hard. All right, fish man. Let me sell you something. Let me sell you something. I am honored. Well, what am I, 18? So we are also going to... It's 18, right? Yeah. Where are you set? Goldshire? We should probably set it somewhere other than Goldshire. So yeah, I think we uh, we pick up our uh, skills and we log off. And I have to go to work tomorrow morning on a Sunday. I think I mentioned this on either the Shaman or the Paladin video last night. <clears throat> you go ahead and you... And it's like everything. It's almost everything in life to me. Whenever you like volunteer to do something... At the time, it sounds amazing. You're like, oh my god. Like, hey, anybody want to help out on this project and we'll give you overtime for Sunday? And I'm like, yeah, definitely, let's do it. Um, kind of just like, whenever you mention to somebody, oh yeah, no, like, whenever you move, let me know. I'll, I'll help you out. And you see, you feel like you're a good person at that time. Like, oh, I'm helping that person out. And you feel good about yourself, and then when they're like, Hey, uh, you said you could help me move. I'm moving this weekend. And you're like, oh my god, I really just wanted to like... I really just wanted to crash on the couch and just, you know, eat pizza and... Take naps, you know? Like, I, I don't want to do anything this weekend. And you're like, I just, you know, like... Six weeks ago, me just doomed me for a... Eight-hour moving Saturday. Ugh. I think is is this is is this going to be it? Is this going to be uh, consecration? I think we get it at eighteen, unless it's twenty. I think it's eighteen though. But yeah, hope, hopefully you're, everybody's enjoying these videos. I mean, like, not enjoying them, but hopefully they're not, like... <laughs> they're not bringing you down. Like, nobody's like, oh my god, I accidentally... Let that one play in the background, and now I'm depressed. Um, oh, 20. You son of a... Okay, let's just do the... Retribution Aura. Okay. Well, I guess we missed 16. 10 Holy Damage. That's actually pretty okay. That's bigger than I remember. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff. That's... 
kind of important. So Hand of Freedom. We'll put our hands up here. I don't know when we'll ever use them. Righteous Fury is up here. Is it 30 minutes? Yeah, we'll put it there. Hand of Reckoning. I mean, maybe that hand stays down. Hand of Freedom. Okay. So that is... Okay, so that's that. I don't like that there. Okay, so what else did we get? Oh, retribution or one sixty. All right. boys and girls thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I am not going to ask you to like or subscribe I don't think the content is good enough yet if you want to feel free I try to put out like there are some days where I'll put out three videos, three one hour videos. There are days where I'll put out one one hour video. There are days where I'll put out like a half an hour video with no uh, vocals, like uh, commentary track. So I'm all over the place, but I try to do like at least two a day. So there's content out there if you like it. But either way. Um, until next time, thanks a lot guys, take her easy.